Welcome to JDTV News. I'm Kendall. And I'm William. Today we will talk about the Alaska Youth Environmental Agency and the football parent meeting. Also, we will also cover the blood drive and share with you Will's bio and information about the football parent meeting. All coming up right now on JDTV News. Welcome to the show. First up, there will be a Crimson Bear football player and parent meeting on April 9th at 6 p.m. in the JDHS Commons. The meeting will cover the 2014 schedule as well as the student handbook information and also fundraising information. If, ha if you have any questions, please contact Coach Rich Shuros at 957-2586. Uh, or if you'd rather go to the go to www.crimsonbears-football-zone.com online registration is required before participating in the fundraising. The AYEA stands for Alaska Youth Environmental Action. The group is meant for kids to take an action towards the environment. If you are interested in the AYEA, then head down to the Woodshop Room 130 today as well as every other Friday. Also in other news, a week from next Tuesday, there will be a blood drive taking place. You must be at least 16 years of age to give blood as usual. Now we're going to get to know someone on JDTV News team today. We will show you Will's bio. No, not me. I'm William. We're going to see Will's bio. Let's take a look at that now. Hi, I'm Will Blank. I'm a freshman at JDHS, and this is my first year in the video production class. I'm also a Rotary Exchange student who will be spending a year in Indonesia next year. I was born in New York, but my family moved to Alaska shortly afterwards, and we lived all over. Next, we will hear what's going on in sports. What's happening, Liam? Thanks, guys. This time of year doesn't have a lot of events going on, but luckily for us, soccer has been playing some good games. Last weekend, boys soccer went to Sitka and, completing, and competed against their boys soccer team, winning both games. This weekend, boys soccer is also going to Seattle and Spokane to compete against many Washington teams, such as Meade and Ferris. Good luck to all competing teams. That's it for sports. Back to you, Kendall. Thank, thanks, Liam. Now let's look at the calendar for events that's happening at JDHS. Today and for the weekend, the boys' soccer team is in Washington. Also today, for sophomores, is the SBA science test. This test begins in a couple of minutes, so be sure to get your student ID and check in at the check-in table. We, ha we have more on that later. Uh, not long, but going on this weekend. Boys soccer is in Washington. Good luck to those teams uh, for those games. Boys soccer is still in Washington on Monday. Good luck, DHS. On Thursday, the Alaska Association of Student Government Spring Conference is held at Eielson Air Force Base. Also, Music Fest is in Ketchikan. On Friday, girls soccer varsity plays against Eagle River. The Oslog Spring Conference continues at Olsen Air Force Base and Music Fest continues in Ketchikan. Well, that's all we have for calendar. I wonder what the weather's going to look like this weekend. Let's, Let's go to Megna for more. Megna? Thanks, William. As you can see on the map behind me, the high pressure coming in from the northwest has been giving us some cool, dry weather. As these clouds down here get closer to us, we'll be getting some wet um, rain and some, possibly some snow. Now let's take a look at the forecast for the weekend. Today is mostly sunny with a high of 38 and a low of 28. Tomorrow is mostly cloudy with a high of 38 and a low of 30. Looking on to Sunday, we have rain and snow with a high of 39 and a low of 28. Let's see what's going up at Eagle Crest. Behind me, you can see the bottom of the mountain this morning. There are 43 inches of snow at the base and 152 inches of snow at the top. 
Also, Eagle Crest is closing on the 13th, and the Slush Cup is on the 12th, so don't miss that, and enjoy the last weekends up at Eagle Crest. That's all for weather. Back to you guys at the desk. William? Thanks, Magna. That's all the time we have for today. Be sure to check out our website at jdhsvideo.org to rewatch this episode and other JDTV news episodes. And be sure to follow us at Twitter at JDHS Video. See ya.